good morning students good morning to all and last day we have started the chapter 9 physical economics and in this chapter we have studied the subject matter or the scope of physical economics and the similarities and the dissimilarities of the private and public norms so today just we will go to the next concept today we will study about the functions of modern state <coughs> nowadays our state also considered as a modern state so this modern state always has some of the functions the modern state is a welfare state and not just the policy states sorry not just the police states if the police states means one of the time around course of time the nations are considered as a police states only the police states means it has some of the objectives to protecting the nations from protecting the public from the arrival of other nations only but nowadays all the states are considered as a modern states the state assumes greater roles by creating economic and social overheads ensuring stability both internally and externally and conserving resources for sustainable development so by creating the economic and the social overheads it has giving the greater roles and ensuring the stability both internally and externally means by bringing the stabilizations in the locals and the boundaries of the nations and the externally also and conserving the resources for sustainable development even if we have more resources the more resources must be used to this bringing the sustainable development and something under some headings we can come to know about the functions of modern states first defense the primary functions of the government is to protect the people from the external aggressions and the internal disorders so by the way of external aggressions external aggressions means some of the other nations may come to the come to, uh, may come to our nations to bring in the war and internal disorders means the poverty and the unemployment problem and some of the caste and religious problems so the nations must be providing the protect protections to protect the people from the external aggressions and the internal disorder <coughs> the government has to maintain adequate police and military forces and rendering the protective services so it is the main functions of the modern state next judiciary so rendering the justice and the settlement of disputes are the concern of the government some of the disputes are there the government only have to settle and providing the justice for all the peoples as they are equalized so it should provide adequate judicial structure to rendering the justice to all the classes of citizens next enterprises the regulations and the control of private enterprises fall under the purview of the modern state so even if there is more private organizations and the private enterprises are there the government only have to take all the respect all the responsibilities to regulate and to control the enterprises so ownership of certain enterprises and operating them successfully are the responsibilities of the government even though if the government are providing the rights to conducting the enterprises some of the most dominant or most important enterprises are controlled and undertaken by the government only for the purpose of providing protections and the unemployment problem and bringing the economic development next is social welfare so it is the duty of the state to make the provisions for education social security social insurance health and sanitation for the betterment of the people in the countries so what are the things are the considered as a social welfare so all the things have to provided by the government only 
because the private organizations and the private nations can have no power and no rights no interest added to providing at all so next infrastructure facilities so modern states have to build the base for the economic development of the country by creating the social and economic infrastructures if the government want to bringing the growth and the development so that nations must to providing or must creating the social and economic infrastructures social infrastructures means as we have studied already the education social security social insurance health and sanitation and the economic infrastructures means so what are the things are needed to improving the economic development all these things are considered as a economic infrastructures the transport facilities road facilities and the proper monetary and fiscal policies and the proper consolidations of the holding lands everything also considered as a social infrastructures next macroeconomic policies the government has to administer fiscal policies and monetary policies to achieve macroeconomic goals already we have studied if any of the government want to achieve their macroeconomic goals so that nations must bring and uh, and implementing the proper macroeconomic policies macroeconomic policies mean the monetary policies and the fiscal policies by bringing and implementing the proper or the so the peculiar monetary policy and the fiscal policies only it is possibilities next is social justice during the process of growth of an economy certain sections of the society is gain at the cost of others so whenever nations are going to reach or attain the base of one of the boom level of the trade cycles some particular people only will get most benefit and other people will not get the benefit so when the government also have to take the effort to bringing the equalization of the societies the all the people have to get the good communication skills and the income and the employment opportunity the government needs to intervene with the fiscal measures to redistribute the income so in which way the government can arranging the redistribution of income it is must be taken by the government next control of monopoly so concentration of economic power is another evil to be corrected by the government so the state intervenes through the control of monopolies and restrictive trade practices to curbing the concentration of economic power so the nations as more possibilities to increasing the economic development by the way of providing the privatizations but in the same time so the government also have to take the responsibility to controlling the monopoly powers and in fine the state can play three kinds of roles to controlling the monopolies and bringing the economic development as a producer of goods and services the government the government only has the power and they became as the producers of the goods and services so many goods and services are produced and distributed by the both government and the private but even though if the government only is there to providing the goods and services it is good next as a supplier of public goods and the social goods the government only has to undertaking all the responsibilities to supply the public and social goods next as a regulator of the systems what are the economic system or the political system and what are the system as are there so all the systems also have to regulate by the government so under the eight heading one of the modern states providing the functions or taking some of the functions next public expenditures the public expenditures refers to government spending incurred by central state and local governments of a country 
if you are considered a country the country includes the local government the state government and the central government by together by togethering these three authorities organizations only is considered as a government so these three governments also have to spend some of the money to bringing the economic development and these three organizations also spending the money to providing the public welfare so the how much of amount of the money is going to spend for the public welfare by these three organizations is considered as a public expenditure if the government are spending the amount to the public that is called public expenditures so the public expenditures can be defined as the expenditures incurred by the public authorities like central state and local governments to satisfy the collective social wants of the people is known as public expenditure some of the individual not only the individual people's wants is considered as a public expenditure the collective social wants of the people if the government saw satisfy the collective social wants of the people is known as public expenditures by providing some of the facilities or the social welfare next classification on public expenditures so we can easily classify the public expenditures as we have to be first the public expenditure is classified on the basis of benefits so the two type of economists are the two economists the gohan and the blagan have classified the public expenditures on the basis of benefits into the four classes by having the by understanding the benefits we can classify the public expenditure first public expenditures benefiting entire societies the public expenditures benefiting the entire society for example the expenditures on the general administrations defense education public health and transports and uh, hygienics and sanitations everything is also made by the government for all the peoples without any discriminations next to some of the public expenditures conferring a special benefit on certain people and at the same time common benefit on the entire community first one is administrations of justice or etc if you are having the good justice some of the particular people will get more benefit particular people mean if any of the people any of the people are bothering about any from any of the problems he will get more benefit and because of that other people also will have the confidence on the government and he also have some of the benefit next public expenditures directly benefiting particular group of persons and indirectly the entire societies for example social securities public welfare pension and unemployment relief so the people those who all as the problematic situations these people will give the more benefit and because of that other people also indirectly will get the benefit by providing the unemployment relief funds and the pensions and other suspensions is to public expenditures conferring a special benefit on some individuals for example subsidy granted to a particular industries some of the government providing only for the particular people providing the public expenditures providing the spent on the particular people only by providing the grants and the subsidies to the farmers and the cottage industries peoples and the handicraft artisans so because of that the particular people also will have the benefit so under the benefit the government have to classify the government expenditures is classified next classifications on the basis of functions so adam smith classified the public expenditure on the basis of functions of the government so under the three headings 
the public expenditure is going to classified on the basis of function first one is protection function so this groups includes public expenditures incurred on the security of the citizens to protect from external invasion and internal disorder for example defense police courts etc so i uh, already we have studied the functions of the modern state he is providing the protections so many problems will be arised from the external and even in the internal problem so whatever may be the government only have to take the responsibility to protect their peoples so on the basis of protection functions the government or the class in the expenditures of government can be classified next commercial functions so this group includes the public expenditures incurred on the development of a trade and commerce for example development of means the transport and the communication etc so we have studied already the government also have to take some of the organizations some of the responsibility to conducting the commercial organizations nowadays the police and the development of transport and communications the bsnl and the railway transport and all the bus transport is also undertaken by the government so even if there is possible to get the revenue they have to need of making the public expenditures on the development of commercials and the trade next development functions so this group includes the public expenditures incurred for the development infrastructure and industries so normally the development is coming from the infrastructure facilities provided by the government if we want to absorbing the international monetary fund and the foreign direct investment or even our local government industries want to increase or want to develop in the particular time or within the short period the good infrastructure facilities must be needed so on the basis of the development functions also we can classify the public expenditures so the public expenditure is going to classify on the basis of functionally protection function commercial function and development functions next causes for the increase in government expenditures why nowadays the government expenditure is going to increase means some of the causes some of the reasons only the government expenditure is going to increase so under the following headings we can come to know about the reasons of government expenditures first one is population growth during the past 77 years of planning the population of india has increased from 36.1 crore in 1951 to 121 crore in 2011 so as we have studied already the increasing the population growth always required the more government expenditures because whenever the population growth is going to increase the increasing populations must be required the food and the employment problems and the social infrastructures like the education colleges and some of the infrastructure facilities the growth in population requires massive investment in health and education law and order etc and not only that the young population requires increasing expenditure on education and youth services whereas the again populations requires transfer payments like old age pension social security and health facilities now what are the expenditures made by the government for the public it will be increased whenever the population is going to increase right next defense expenditures there has been enormous increase in defense expenditure in india during the planning period the defense expenditure has been increasing tremendously due to modernization of defense equipments nowadays all the nations are producing the vehicles and the protective equipments like a gun and some of the atoms and other materials and our nations also now beginning from the developing nations to developing nations so we also will be in the need of having the more weapons 
so the government also has to protecting and has to increasing and have to strengthening the defense so the defense also will be have the more expenditures the defense expenditure of the government was 10874 crores in 1991 which increased significantly to 2 lakhs and 95 1511 crores in 2018 and 19 next government subsidies the government of india has been providing subsidies on a number of items such as food fertilizers interest on priority sectors lending exports education etc because of the massive amounts of subsidies the public expenditure has increased manifold So normally the government has to providing the subsidies for the priority sectors like agricultural and uh, cottage industries and the retired indian army ex servicemen so when they are providing the subsidies for all that these people it has to being in the need of making the expenditures the expenditures on subsidies by central government in 1991 was 1000 9581 crores which increased significantly to 2 crores 29 lakhs and this 750 lakhs crores is increased in 2018 and 19 next is debt servicing the government has been borrowing heavily both from the internal and the external sources internal and external sources means whenever it has the possibilities to earning the income by selling the debentures and the shareholders to the public it can collect it and it has the chance to borrowing the fund from the world bank the international organizations such as the ibrd world trade organizations and the united nations as a result the government has to make huge amount of repayment towards the debt service so if we have the power and the rights to borrowing the money it has to repay the money with the interest so they have to take the more expenditures the next to the development projects so the government has been undertaking various development projects such as irrigation iron and steel heavy machinery power telecommunications etc the development project involves huge investment if you want to bring or implementing the social infrastructures they have to taking the important projects for bringing the important projects the government has to be in the need of or it will become as a huge investment nation next urbanizations there has been an increase in urbanizations in 1952-51 about 70 percentage of the population was urban based but now the urban population has increased to about 43 percentage so there are more than 54 cities above 1 million populations are uh, became to urbanized areas so the increase in urbanization requires heavy expenditure on law and order education and civic amenities so now So in certain times, so all the peoples are spread throughout the world, throughout the cities, or throughout the regions. So the so many of the peoples are living in the rural areas only. But nowadays, all the peoples are coming from the rural areas to urban areas. But the forty-seven percent of the peoples are living in the urbanized areas only. so the government also have to take the more responsibility to make the expenditures to providing the law and order and controlling the populations and uh, providing the employment opportunities in this urbanized areas so the government has to take the responsibility next industrializations so setting up of basic and heavy industries involves a huge capital and long gestation period So it is the government which starts such industries in a planned economy. The underdeveloped countries need a strong of infrastructures like transport, communication, power, fuels, etc., and like that. So whenever the industrializations are going to increase, so we have to 
make the good infrastructure facilities then only the industrial sector will be increased the strong of infrastructure like transport communication power fuels etc is needed to the underdeveloped countries for the improvement of industrialization next increase in grants in aid so increase in grants in aid to state and union territories so there has been tremendous increase in grant in aid grant in aid means so the grants and subsidies to state and union territories to meet the natural disasters so whenever the natural disaster is arises or occurred the public the government only have to take the more responsibility to recovering that people from the losses of employment and providing the food and other amenities so by this eighth reasons one government have to arranging the more expenditures okay students i think it's enough if you have any doubts in this causes of increase in government expenditures and the classifications of public expenditures just please ask me and just to take the causes of government expenditures as your study portions thank you